What's going on everybody? My name is the Brotator Chip, and today we are playing Ghost Watchers, and I wanted to bring a couple tips and tricks to you all because I know a lot of people wonder how exactly do I play this game? It's not like many other ghost investigation games I've played before. How does it work? And mostly a lot of the confusions on getting your first pieces of evidence that can be inserted in your journal here to narrow down your ghost type, the ghost age and the ghost mood. So a lot of the questions are all usually around the thermometer and how that works. So Ghost Watchers, it, the ghost doesn't have a favorite room like it does in a lot of other ghost games. It has an opportunity to roam around freely all the time. It will not stay in one room at one time. So you can only get the correct ghost temperature when you're within the vicinity of the ghost. But you can't see the ghost, so how do you know when that is? Well, I used to really like to take the EMF reader, and once I get an EMF reading, I know I'm somewhere near the ghost. So I'm going to roam around until I get an EMF reading right now. We got EMF 5. So, what's my temperature next to the ghost right now? If you saw that really quickly, it was negative 15 for a second. There it is, see? The ghost must be moving this way. Negative 16. So that means that the ghost's temperature is somewhere to a negative 15, negative 16. So, that means our, our evidence is negative 20 to negative 10. Our EMF sensor was EMF 5. It could either be the Krampus, the Dream Devourer, or the Drowned. That's how you get your first two pieces of evidence when you enter a map. You take your EMF, you take your thermometer, and you get them both at the same time, and then you get dragged away by the ghost to some room you don't know where you're going to. <laughs> so that's my first tip for Ghost Watchers. If you like this kind of content and you found it useful, please like and follow for more videos. I will create more Ghost Watcher tips in the future.